catch the arrows and marking their course. Yeah, that lets them know that they're what trail to stay on. I would think that would be one of the toughest parts. Yeah, you're trying to watch your arrows like here. You got a, a sharp right hand turn, and then it's well where they turn here is going to be for like a certain age group will end up going probably the younger kids will go down here because this will be a shorter course and then right. the, the adults they'll change like these w's here where it says wrong way they'll take them down and you can see there's arrows behind them okay so then the, the, the big people will have to come down into here and um, uh, i guess it's going well, this way yeah now see he's got arrows both directions so there's probably a a different age group that'll go. One will go one direction and the older ones. After each race, they'll come back down and reset it up. They'll have to take these streamers down okay. and maybe they'll open this trail up and shut that trail off from the, you know, the, the last one. fast as I can. So right. That's why I say this isn't my kind of race to be screaming through this woods knowing that you have all these trees because one screw up. That's here. They're cutting them back here real hard uh, wow. to go back on that trail there. So I'm thinking uh, I know there's another trail down here to have some markers on that comes back out. I'll see apparently this is open for something else because here we still have arrows here so That would be one of the toughest things, just watching for those arrows and going the right way. Yeah, and you're trying to do this as fast as you can. I don't know, I think, uh, like last year, I only know one one accident, the guy broke his shoulder. But, you know, he, he said, you know, if you have 600 riders, you only come out of it with one, one that's person a win. Yeah. that was hurt. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. Right. But that, that's that's what these guys do uh, you know, all, every weekend is this type of ride. Right. Slam your brakes on and yeah. get yourself weasel too here so you don't end up wrapping yourself around one of these trees. Yeah. And it's a 
10 mile course for the uh, big guys. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll end up down on our northern end of the, the property once this trail wraps around. So you figure you have uh, about an hour and a half, two hours of running around this thing as fast as you can go. Right. How many laps do they do? Is it predetermined or? No, it's, it's you whoever makes the most laps. laps in, in that amount of time, I believe. If it was me after that first lap, I'd be pretty well beaten. Yeah, oh yeah. I'd be ready to And to do it for two hours straight. Right. And then they come down here. What's that? And then they come down that. Yeah, they come down that and up this side. That's ridiculous. We're doing this in, on four wheels. Yeah. So. Well, I say the younger kids, they pick a, a, an easier course, but it's still challenging. Right. You uh, can't make it too easy for them, but this here's, I know this is definitely for the, the professionals. I've been recording since we started. We're at 10 minutes right now. 